Hello, my name is Claire Rafis, and I'm a cloud solution architect inside of the One Commercial Partner Organization at Microsoft. I focus on helping partners technically develop AI and ML solutions. I'm going to be briefly talking today about responsible AI, why it should matter to you, and how you can begin to build out your own responsible AI practice. So why is responsible AI important? Currently, advancements in AI are rapidly increasing. The rate of improvement is evident even in the past four years. In 2016, Microsoft developed an object recognition model that could recognize the items in a photo as well as a human could. Since then, we've continued to achieve either human parity or near human parity in speech recognition, reading comprehension, translation, speech synthesis, and general language understanding. These are honestly astounding developments, and so many fantastic solutions have been built utilizing these models. For the most part, AI has been used to help move businesses and society forward. It can automate time-consuming tasks and has led to incredible innovations at many companies. However, as we increase machine intelligence, we also must consider how that impacts us on a personal and societal level. As AI has improved over the past few years, more and more companies have begun to realize the potential ethical dilemmas that can also arise. In this graph, we see the response of company leaders in a variety of different countries responding to the question as to whether they have run into a variety of different ethical issues resulting from the use and implementation of AI. Nearly nine in 10 organizations have encountered ethical issues resulting from the use of AI. We see this consistently in the media and our day-to-day -day life. There's frequently news about unethical AI practices and a lot of concern in the general public. As ML has rapidly improved, frequently the ethics around it have struggled to keep up. With the advancements of AI, Microsoft saw the enormous need for best practices and ethical principles. Brad Smith, the president and chief legal officer at Microsoft, has even written two different books on the subject. The Future Computed, Artificial Intelligence and Its Role in Society, and Tools and Weapons, The Promise and the Peril of the Digital Age. At Microsoft, we've developed six different principles that we utilize when building AI systems. These principles are designed to put people first and help to empower others. They are fairness, that AI systems should treat everyone fairly and avoid affecting similarly situated groups of people in different ways, reliability and safety, that AI systems should operate reliably, safely, and consistently under normal circumstances and in unexpected conditions, privacy and security, that AI systems should be able to protect private information and resist attacks, just like other technology. Inclusiveness, that AI systems should empower everyone and engage people. Transparency, that people should be able to understand how AI systems make decisions, especially when those decisions impact people's lives. And finally, accountability. People must maintain responsibility for and have meaningful control over AI systems. We put these responsible AI principles into practice through the Office of Responsible AI and the AI Ethics and Effects in Engineering and Research, or Ether, Committee. These organizations advise our leadership on the challenges and opportunities presented by AI innovations and set our rules and governance processes. These are both resources that partners can take advantage of as they grow their own responsible AI strategy and also to model their governance after. 
So I've listed our principles, but they're also important to actually put into action. As an example of incorporating responsible AI into your practice, consider the usual life cycle of project development. I frequently see partners and customers that fail to consider responsible AI principles until they are in the launch or evolve phase of their solution. However, by infusing the principles in the earlier stages, you are more likely to avoid ethical pitfalls down the road. As an example, you can incorporate them earlier by considering the impact of AI on a diverse collection of stakeholders in the envisioning phase, then clearly define and understand your data sets and metrics in the define stage. Next, use specific tools in your prototyping phase, which can create transparency in your ML models and check for biases, tools like interpret ML. In your build phase, consider the trade-off between fairness and accuracy with different tools like Fairlearn. When launching, make sure you have a diverse group to test your solution. And then after testing, build out an escalation and recovery plan for your solution. And finally, as you evolve, continue to analyze and improve your model with these principles in mind. You want to ensure that you're considering and utilizing ethical AI practices at every step in your solution. AI has a huge potential for doing good for the general public, as well as being an awesome tool for customers and specific users. It's important, though, to be mindful in its development. If you're interested in learning more about how to put responsible AI into action, I encourage you to check out these two different Microsoft resources. Use the AI Business School to learn how to establish your own responsible AI strategy based on the value of your organization. Then also, utilize some of the AI resources we have provided that will give you access to tools, guidelines, and additional resources that help you create a responsible AI solution. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. These are fantastic resources that can help you get started on your journey. You can also view more information at www.microsoft.com forward slash AI forward slash responsible dash AI. If you want to learn more about how OCP is working with responsible AI and ML, I recommend that you check out the partner tech talks that cover this material in more depth. The partner tech talks are a series of videos that provide tailored learning and guidance to help you accelerate your practice with resources to deepen your knowledge and grow your business. These Tech Talks are 90-minute virtual sessions filled with rich content, live Q&A, and interactive demos. We've already covered building responsible AI and ML solutions in different talks, and we'll be producing more talks on this area. You can also register for our Responsible AI or Responsible ML workshops. The RAI workshop is designed to aid Microsoft partners in developing an awareness of Responsible AI as they engage in AI projects with their customers and establish a governance model for their own organization. The Responsible ML workshop is designed to aid Microsoft partners and specifically their technical staff who want to understand how RAI is implemented in model development and design. If you have any other questions or your company is interested in learning more about what OCP is doing with Responsible AI, feel free to reach out to me at claire.rafus, R-E-H-F-U-S-S, -E -S, at microsoft.com. I look forward to seeing what you build. Thank you so much.